Hey guys, I'm back again for the weekly oracle reading. The first card we got out, Rebirth. Reinvent yourself, give life to your dreams, create a new reality. This card is telling us that there's a new beginning about to approach you. A new beginning that is changing. Now, some things are uncomfortable, some things you may not like at first, but that is the whole point of rebirth. Rebirth is reinventing, reinventing something inside of you. Um, with Divine Masculines right now, there's a lot of changes going on, and I know it's been pretty rough for a lot of people right now. If you're going through something very difficult and challenging in a relationship, there's a new beginning, there is a change. Something is about to happen, but you need to focus on that. You can't focus on so much of the actual problem, but the actual situation on how it's reinventing itself and maybe what seems to be not going in a positive direction you have to focus on the positive positive. and I know that people like hear that word all the time um, that phrase you know the glass half full don't look at it half empty but it is true you need to have courage courage to get through it you are safe fear is an illusion set strong boundaries now this is important for any relationship you have to feel confident. You have to have that courageous spirit that you can do this. You don't have to feel so trapped, so lonely, um, like things are just falling apart, nothing is ever getting better because it will get better. Divine Masculine has been going through this um, phase where they they take that, that, that plunge. They want to take that plunge. They, they try to take that plunge, but then something's always bringing them like in the step words backwards. And when that happens, you can't focus on that. Like I said, the rebirth, we have rebirth. We have a whole new beginning and a whole new change, but you have to focus on that. Trust the process. Leap into the unknown, have faith, and move forward. Believe you will fly. Now, literally, you can't fly. You know that. But you can, in a sense, you can flow through all of this. When there is something going on, if that person isn't like giving you the love that you need, or not expressing themselves to you, or maybe they're not just being there. I mean, they're not present with you. Maybe they're separated from you. You have to trust. Trust into the unknown. Have faith into what your heart is saying. Listen to your intuition. I can't tell you what to do. Nobody can. But if you trust what the process is, sometimes it's not easy. Like I said, with a rebirth, rebirth is happening. Trust, focus on that, ponder it. Don't look at things so negatively. Um, because it's easy to do that. We all go through it. Everyone does. But if that person is just far away from you or you're just not getting through that person, you have to focus on what you feel in your heart. If you know that this person is somebody for you for the future, you know that this person is connected to you, you know that there's a divine connection between you two, you have to go with it. But if there's someone that you're just putting the effort and nobody is giving you anything back, that person is not giving you enough, then you know you have to step back. You know you need to um, look on to other areas. Things happen for reasons. Sometimes people are sent to us for a specific reason and we have to go with the flow. The magic, make a wish, a very beautiful card. And I apologize for the noise, neighbors. Um, make a wish, believe in miracles, magic surrounds you. And that's the truth and that's the magic, the magic of energy and you know, the magic of children around me at the same time while I'm saying this um, is magic because children are magic um, in our lives. They give that magical feeling. So this is the message. Believe in what you feel in your heart. Like these two cards line up right next to each other. So when you're, when you're in doubt and when you're feeling really discouraged, you have to go to where that happy place was, that happy feeling you had once before. Because by having this happy feeling, guess what? You're not going to feel the negativity when you are focused on the positivity. Hope. Stay positive. The worst is behind you. Look up to the light. Now, this is giving us hope. I mean, this really is. And you know what? When you have that hope, you can see things a lot easier than before because you know that things are going to get better. This is for the divine feminines. You guys are seeing it and you know it. But the anger sometimes gets the best of you. Anger. Safely express your anger. Use anger as a positive force. Honor all of your emotions as sacred. Now, see, when we see these two cards together, let me see if I can put them together. Okay. Now, as difficult as it may seem, 
You can just let go. Well, we sh this one came first. Okay. Have hope, but release the anger. Let go of the anger. Use it as a positive force. Well, we talk about using it as a positive force. Just what I was saying. Don't look at things so drastic. If you're looking at things dr in a drastic level, you're not looking at things, why things happened the way they did. You know, all those things that happened to you in your life, my life, the person's life in your life, everyone's life happens to get you into a better place, uh, get you stronger, um, to get you to where you need to go. You wouldn't be who you are today if you didn't allow the love to cherish and bring you into a pl better place in your life. If you don't allow the love to um, explore. And that love is inside of you because you are full of love. Sorry, there was a bee flying around me. <laughs> Okay, so we are getting bees, we are getting children, we are getting all these messengers telling us there is something good coming up for you. Nature, that's why we have nature, and it's interesting. Okay, ground yourself, find a sanctuary in nature, connect with the, ele the elementals. Okay, and it's interesting because I'm finding nature right now to influence this reading. And we get a card that shows us nature, and... You know what, with nature and with everything around you, you need to focus on it. And I, that's why I love being outdoors. Um, that's why I'm doing this reading outdoors because it's just, it's empowering. It's in energizing. So if you're feeling angry, if you're feeling that energy that you can't do this, you're, you're discouraged, look at all these things that happened to you and how you got through it. That's what I'm trying to say. Embrace what you have in front of you right now and not what you should have had. Support. Ask for help. Get more rest. Nurture yourself. And that's important right now. It's a beautiful card. Support. You know, ask for guidance from above. Ask God to help you. Get you through this. You, can, you can't do this alone. You know that. And, you know, I'm not trying to push religion or, you know, beliefs on anyone, but... You know, you have to focus on, you know, what you what your heart is saying and what you what your intuition is saying. And you know, I'm a Christian, so I use God, and you know, I hope you use your higher power as well, because that's what's going to get you through it. You have the support around you, and you have to ask your your guides, your angels. You have to get you have to get through whatever it is in your life to make things happen. Okay. So don't look at things negative. Whatever that whatever is going on in your life, I'm feeling a message for you directly. Don't look at what's on the surface, but look at what's in your heart because that's what that's what's being told right now to you. I'm getting the messages as well. Um, these messages are not me telling you what to do, but they're actually from the, from above, giving you the guidance that you need and helping you find what it is in your heart, what you need to ponder and what you need to follow. Um, I hope this reading resonated with you there was a lot of messages here i know there was a lot that i got as well um and if you'd like to get your own personalized reading i do offer phone and chat and email readings and the links are in the description area um also check out my blogs and uh, my articles i'm always writing things and i'm continuing on making videos i love love helping you guys and i've been doing this for several years and i don't plan on stopping um lord willing so i am going to be doing this as long as i can and as long as i'm here okay on this planet um so until next time god be with you all namaste